Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, I'll be talking a little bit further about the Pokemon Sun and Moon 3DS hardware that just came out. I did an unboxing, I got so many questions, and some of them required a little bit more explanation than what I wanted to put into the comments. So I decided just to make a second quick video for those who want to know a little bit more about tweaking, upgrading, and basically getting to know your new Nintendo 3DS Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay, now right now there's a few different questions out there. The first of which is I've got a lot of questions saying, is the game included? And no, unfortunately, with a lot of these special editions, they're not actually including the game in the pack. There was like a recent Monster Hunter one, uh, which didn't have the game. The Zelda one, which is this one right here, which is a real beauty. This did not include the game. Now, sometimes you will see like on GameStop for this particular edition, there was an option where it would include the game. But basically what was happening was uh, GameStop was just including a copy of the cartridge packed in the box. It was the same retail hardware, same box, same everything for this hardware. Just when they shipped it to you, they would just put the 3DS uh, game in there with it, you know, for the same price as buying them separately. But in general, Nintendo don't charge extra for these limited editions if you're buying it, you know, day and date from Nintendo. The problem is they sell out really quickly, so sometimes these collector editions become really valuable. I mean, like double the price sometimes of the original, you know, regular 3DS XL or the original retail price of this. So it's good to try and get them early if you're into that game or if you're into collecting these. Now, Another question that came up recently was they were asking about upgrading and there is upgrade options. I'm not sure the size of the actual flash card that comes with it. So we're going to open this up and take a look. But if you're slick, you can actually buy one and try and stick it in. And we'll have to test to see later exactly how big is big. But I'm um, paying a 256 gig card in a 3DS would be pretty awesome. So I have a brand new one right here, actually, for that very purpose. OK, quick lesson in screens. Now, this is something kind of weird and kind of isolated to Nintendo but when it comes to 3DS's even the same exact model of 3DS's sometimes you might get either what's known as a TN screen or an IPS screen and the big difference basically is IPS is true 24-bit color okay so it looks better at different viewing angles now IPS screens also basically they say it's a 178 degree viewing angle so you can really take it and oops and you, I'm so klutzy sometimes you can take it and you can actually bend it down and see quite well. Now with these lights on for this video, it's not gonna show as good. So I'm gonna show you some pictures um, in a darker setting in a few moments, but basically you can see it at a better angle, okay? Um, the actual other option, which is TN, which is usually the lower screen on these, is quicker refresh rate, cheaper for Nintendo, and that's kind of the difference, you know, so it's a cheaper part, but there is a positive that it does have a slightly better refresh rate than an actual IPS screen. But most people would really prefer to have that, you know, IPS screen. Now, keep in mind that the human eye can really only see um, in 25 milliseconds. So I think lower than 25 milliseconds, the human eye really can't detect it. But, you know, people still want the best of the best. And the IPS screen um, is a little bit better in many ways. So I think in general, people ask, is IPS or TN? And you really have to look at it to find out. And even then, it can be a little bit tricky, okay? What we're going to do here is I'm going to basically take the screens and angle them down. And this right here is, by the way, the original new Nintendo 3S, which is an IPS screen. This is a one that was purchased originally when they first launched the new Nintendo 3DSs. You can watch the video back in the queue, actually. And you can see from a viewing angle, even with the bright lights, you can see that pretty good. And you can see, in, I'm going to show you a photo here. You can see it looks very good. Now, this one here is the Pokemon one. And this one, originally I thought maybe it was IPS, but now I'm kind of along the lines, it's probably TN. And this one here, which is Zelda, this one here is TN. And some people were saying they actually got like a Zelda one, which is IPS, so it's kind of luck of the draw. Now here's some photos in the dark. Okay, so you can see one view angle, angle here, and you can see from the side, the one which is the original one, the one that has Persona here, okay? the original new Nintendo 3DS. This one here actually has the best viewing angle from the side. And you can see from the front, same thing. I mean, just in general, if you can get IPS, that's good. So unfortunately, to answer the question, this particular Pokemon 
uh, Sun and Moon 3DS, this one I received was TN, okay? But you know, it's a faster response time. So it's kind of, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. They're both really good. And odds are you're probably not gonna be playing your game like this, you know, at this angle. So in a lot of ways, it really doesn't matter. But people do ask, so I like to tell. So in this case, it is TN. Okay, continuing on. Um, another thing is that people asked about exactly how do you change the flash drive? That's a great question. And the way that is, is in the bottom here, sorry for the, the greasy fingerprints. Uh, this is, by the way, this is beautiful. But the one bad thing about it is this is totally a fingerprint magnet. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of wiping here on this, I have a feeling. There's two screws right here, okay? And so what you have to do is basically take out the stylus or at least I like to, and then we're gonna unscrew these screws. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We've loosened these two screws right here and right here. Now, one thing a lot of people don't know about the stylus is this actually is a tool to open the back cover too. Basically what you do, there's a little uh, hole right here and a little hole here, and you use this to actually pry it up. Now you wanna do this very carefully because you don't wanna damage your new little new Nintendo 3DS. So very careful, we're gonna pop that up and this should pop right off. Now we're gonna do this other side here and we'll just pop this up, hopefully gracefully, there we go. And the screws do stay in the thing, which is great. So they're not gonna slide out for you. Now inside here, you have the battery, as you can see, and here's your micro SD card. Now it's great that you have a little slot here so you can pull it out and we can go ahead and take a look at this real quick and see, see what they included. It's probably very small. It probably will tell us so. Okay, so it looks like this includes a four gigabyte uh, micro SD card. So that is a very small card. Now it's my understanding the new Pokemon game is really big. So if you're downloading the game from Nintendo, which most people are probably buying the hard copy, but if you are downloading it, you're definitely going to upgrade that card um, pronto because it is, that's a very, very small card. So from there, you go ahead and just take your new card and you go ahead and take it out, stick it in. You just pop this back in like this. And then from there, the cover just snaps back on. There we go, and you screw the two screws in and you are good to go. We'll go ahead and tighten this up real quick. All right, friends, to recap, basically there's two types of screens, TN, IPS. Let me know what you got in the comments down below. I'm really curious. So far, again, it seems that I have a TN screen, but there might be some people out there that do have the IPS model. So if you did, lucky you guys. But either way, you really can't lose because this is such a fine unit. It'll be a lot of fun either way. And it'll play the games great either way, too. It's just a matter of um, viewing angle or response time. What means more to you? Okay? If you have any future questions about this particular awesome Sun and Moon 3DS, let me know in the comments below here, okay? And I'll do my best to answer them for you. Again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you like Nintendo and you'd like to see more content relating to 3DS or to Pokemon. All right, be sure to check out my other channels. I have Tux Reviews, my review channel. Also, I have Tux Reviews on Instagram and Twitter. This channel, Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter, and my beta gaming channel called Gamer Tux. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.